coming year, on the 10th of February, for the first time in history, 27 paintings by Vermeer will gather in the Rijksmuseum. This has never happened before, and it will never happen again. Vermeer only painted 35 works, more or less, and 27 will be here. Well, Vermeer, in a sense, is kind of loner, you could say. He made very few paintings, about only 35 were left, and his paintings radiate this simplicity, this stillness, this brilliant colors. And I think the magic about Vermeer is, is that when you stand in front of a Vermeer in a museum around the world, wherever you are, and you see one, you are kind of absorbed by it because it feels as if you're in the room with the person depicted and as if you're looking at her and she's alive. And I think that that is what makes him so special. Vermeer just started with a composition which was much fuller than the composition we have now. Uh, the milkmaid stands there pouring milk uh, in front of a white plaster wall. Well, that wall was filled with a rack with um, jars hanging on it, which we now don't see anymore. At her feet, there was a large basket, which we call fire basket, which had little st uh, little pieces of hot wood in it and you could put cloth over it that were damp to dry that we don't see anymore as well we now see a very neat little cube um, and it is this um, search he did with a, an underpaint which we also didn't know existed and we now found with these techniques that he made these underpaintings um, a search for simplicity it is very difficult to arrive at that we now still admire so much today. Imaging techniques available at the Rijksmuseum. Really, you get really a lot of information about all the chemical components that are in the, in the, paint, in the paint, but also you can also look at um, uh, deeper into the paint structure, so deeper into the painting, so to look at um, uh, yeah, uh, a sketch on the, on the layers. Uh, so you can really follow how Vermeer started uh, his composition. And you can see that he was really building it up more in light and dark tones. Uh.